Hey, thanks for joining us. If you dig our work, click on subscribe and the notification button so you can be updated on our weekly releases. Enjoy. What experience have we recently created that you want to remember forever? We're building a new life. We literally just moved across the country with a clean slate. We're going to make a new life. We're going to make a kid. Eventually. Eventually. But that's going to happen. It's happening. We're going to be parents by this time next year, probably. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. So, no. I say maybe. I'm going to say probably. We'll see. It's uh, big changes. Uh, These are big changes. Yeah, we're going to have bags under our eyes. I'll have bigger bags under my eyes. Mm. <laughs> and I'm just gonna quietly resent you more? I don't know. What, do you resent bags? No, just do as a father. I'm teasing, I'm joking. How do you think moving out to Los Angeles has affected me and our relationship? Uh, I'm so happy you moved <laughs> to LA because I think you're remembering that it's okay to chill and to want things. Like a big part of like me wanting you to move out here was me like asking you to focus on you and to take care of you and I know if I didn't like be like come out here and do it you won't and I feel like it's been very nice even though I've been working a bunch that like you've had a chance to kind of like slow down and think yeah this is the least stressed I think I've been in as long as I can remember mm-hmm yeah, it's just very different. Yeah, and you've been such an immense help to me, like as a creative, as like thinking about my career and what we do next. It's been amazing. I like doing things with you. Nerd. <laughs> I do. I do too. Like you're my partner, you're my favorite person. I like doing, whether it's hanging out or like sitting down and writing something together or babysitting. <laughs> babysitting. Our family's very cute kids. Yeah, it's good training. It is. It's it's an interesting peek into like what kind of parents we're gonna be because I think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna be quite the parents that you think we're gonna be. I don't think you know what I think about well, that. You, you think I'm gonna be the high-strung parent, and I don't know if I'm gonna be the high-strung parent. No, I think you're gonna be high-strung at times, and then you're gonna laugh at things where I'm like, you can't laugh at that in front of them. <laughs> They'll keep doing it, and then we. <laughs> then it'll be stress on us. Like, there, there's just little things where it's like, A, funny, not appropriate. <laughs> and that, and that, that's, it's funny, it's funny. But it's not appropriate, because when you're a child, you are more of a sponge, and you go, well, if they think it's funny, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm, no, I Yes, <laughs> yes. I like, I don't know. Yes, otherwise you're picking. I have a hard time keeping a straight face. Otherwise, you are doing all the PTA meetings, and I'm out. Because, like, I, I was like, yeah, you laughed. No, when they, like, flip the bird for three weeks, it's on you. It's pretty funny. Yeah, but then when they get in trouble. It's pretty funny. Yeah. It's still pretty funny. My point is, I think we're just, I don't think we're going to be the kind of parents that you think we're going to be. I do. <laughs> I just called it out. I literally said, I think you're going to laugh inappropriately. Well, you, you've accused me of, you think, you're like, oh, you're going to be the high strung. Parent. You are also going to be that. You can be two things. You contain multitudes. I'm dying to know your answer to this oh, question. Geez. Okay. I, When was the last time you considered ending our relationship, and why? Oh, man. I think you know the answer to this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, there was only one time I ever thought about ending our relationship. It was the only time. It was right at the start. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I mean... I, I asked it, I was like, I wonder if there was any other time, but I'm pretty sure that's the only that's time. That's the only time I've ever thought about ending our relationship. 
Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I had another husband. You, you were, you guys were in the process of getting divorced when we... We were separated. You were separated. You were in the process of getting divorced when we started dating. And I was under the impression or from you that like, it was, it was a done deal. It was going to happen. And, uh, and it was. And it was. On my end. On your end, it was. I did not realize that it was not the same. He didn't feel the same way. And when I found that out, I thought I had to break up with you. And then you couldn't. <laughs> you take so much joy in that. I do. It's, it's almost <laughs> unsettling how much joy you take in that. Well, because you came and I knew you were going to break up with me. I knew you wanted to break up with me so bad. And I looked you in the eye. And how then, did you know? Oh, I, my gut told me. Because I knew you are, you are kind, you are considerate, you would never consider putting your own wants and desires over somebody else's. And you cared about my ex-husband the same He's... way I care about my, my ex-husband. He's a great guy. My ex-husband is a great guy that yeah. I'm so happy to not be married to. <laughs> you know that. Same, yeah. No, I'm yeah. glad you're not married to him too. No it offense make, to him, but... It makes everything it, easier. Yeah, no, but the, it, it didn't matter. The fact that you were over it and you were done, the fact that he wasn't... I mean, I, I, yeah, I was going to do the thing where I was going to step aside and put his needs in front of mine. And as soon as I came back and I saw you, I realized that I was going to put my needs first, and I did. I'm happy you did. And I said, let me do this, and let me, let's, let's see what this is. Let's see how far this goes. And well, I laugh because it's like then three and a half months later, you're like, you want to get married? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> When it's right, it's right. Like, you went from like, I don't know if we could do this. All right, we're doing it. Let's get married. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck is wrong? I've when been, it's right, it's right. I had been divorced two months and you were like, let's get married. I was like, no, anyone who says yes to this, I look like I'm under duress. <laughs> I look like something's wrong. Like somebody is like, everybody okay here? But we did it. Yeah, no, I... I Thank you for being. I knew being... eventually you were gonna you were gonna be come around. I know. I mean. And I'm happy I did, but we're... it was very much like I was like, have you lost your mind? When it's right, it's right, babe. And then it's me. And then me. Why are you still married to me? Because I fucking love you. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> I mean, I love you. I love you too. That's I love why you. I tried to marry you so soon. Dude. I love you. We are very compatible in our values and how we want to shape our life. I don't know what else you want from a marriage. <laughs> I couldn't imagine being married to anyone else. I've never wanted to be married to anyone else. I can't say that. <laughs> it's true. It's, it is. It's true. True. Second is the best. You have a hairy chest, so, you know. Hi there, if you're still seeing this, it means you really dug the video and it really moved you. One way you can join us, one way you can support us is on Patreon. SkinDeep.com slash Patreon. You can join us, become a patron. We'll see you around. Thanks a lot.